Good morning, everybody. It is Tag Tuesday today, but because I haven't been in the biggest bookish mood, I decided to do something a little different for Tag Tuesday. I am going to introduce all of you to my fur babies. Um, they make quite a few appearances on this channel, and they'll continue to make quite a few appearances on this channel, so I figure you might as well know a bit about each of them. So I'm going to start out with Blues, because Blues is right here. So give me a second to catch her. This is Blue's Clues. She is a two and a half year old Persian cat. Her gotcha date is October 18th. I got her when she was five months old. I adopted her from a friend of mine whose Persian cat had a litter of kittens. Um, I got her because I was going back to work um, and it started to have a really negative impact on Jazz, who I did get first. So I got her, sorry, I got her October 18th, 2013. Um, and I thought Jazz needed a friend, and I had a friend who happened to have this litter of kittens. Nobody's hurting you. Nobody's hurting you. Put your tongue back in your mouth. Count me tits. Um, she's a little firecracker. She is full of all kinds of bitch attitude. <laughs> it's fantastic. Um, she's got the front face and the shitty personality to back it up. It's so amazing. Um, but yeah, she's she's my little baby. All right, go on. All right. Next, I'm gonna catch Jazz. Okay, so I cannot actually catch Jazz. Jazz is underneath this bed right here. And she is in side of the box spring. I can't get her when she gets in there. And I want to get this video finished. And knowing her, she could be in there for hours. Um, and I also have to catch her today so she can go to the vet. So I don't want to disturb her right now. Because then she will be less trusting when I have to take her to the vet. But you've seen her. She's in all of my videos because she likes to come and sit with me. Um, Jazz was my very first cat, not really my very first pet, but the very first pet that was just mine, um, that I got when I was out on my own. I adopted her through Craigslist. I found an ad for free kittens, and, um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you her entire story to let this be a word of caution to you. Um, the first thing I want to say is don't ever, ever ever list your pets on Craigslist. I don't care what your circumstances are. Take them to a shelter or find a home for them with someone you know um, or can trust. Um, and certainly if you do decide to list your pets on Craigslist, do not list them for free. You never know the type of people who are going to come and take these animals. Um, and they can end up as bait animals, they can end up as snake food. It, you know, when you list your pet for free on Craigslist, you're essentially telling the world you don't care what happens to them. Um, and yes, I'm judging really hard right now. Um, that's just how it's gonna be. So, this was the summer of 2013. I was very depressed, um, and I knew that I wanted a pet. And my apartment only allowed cats, but I never had a cat before. So... I I went searching for a companion animal. I, you know, searching the internet. Um, I didn't think to adopt from a shelter because I, I don't know. I just hadn't, um, I don't really have a car. So organizing, getting to the closest shelter to me was a bit of a hassle. Um, yeah, I, I honestly don't know why it never occurred to me. Um, but I was searching the internet for kittens, you know, kittens up for adoption and stuff, and I found a couple, um, through private adoptions on Pet Finder, but, um, one guy didn't want to get back to me, um, one seemed very sketch, um, and eventually I just ended up on Craigslist, you know, and I just typed in kittens and I saw an ad for free kittens, um, 
it seemed okay. I emailed the person. They said I could come over and pick out a kitten. It was totally free. Um, they lived close by, so I got a friend to drive me up there. I walked into this house, and the smell hit me before anything else. And after I got over the intense smell of cat urine and just cat, the, the just cat smell, I noticed that in this small living room, the living room was probably a little bit bigger than the room I'm in right now, there were dozens of kittens. <laughs> there was a bed with two mothers with nursing litters. There were kittens up the stairs. The first thing you saw when you walked in the house was stairs and there were just kittens and there were cats all over the floor and kittens everywhere. And I was greeted by a man and a woman and the man said, take any of them, take whichever one you want. And the woman was like, you know, I adopt, I, I um, rescue them. I, I take in strays and I took in three pregnant strays all at once and now we have all these kittens. And all I could think is this is way more kittens than three uh, pregnant strays and she has additional kittens on the bed. Um, it, it was, it was really, really sad. The, it, it was just really sad. Um, so I picked up this cat that was all white and he had one gray eye and one green eye and I said, oh my goodness, this is the one. I love him. He's so perfect. And I picked him up and he dug right into my breast and so I put him down but I said he's the one um but I, I just wanted to talk to them a little bit more so we're talking but I'm keeping an eye on the kitten and while I was talking to them um I just leaned down and picked up another random cat and I picked her up and she snuggled onto me um and so I'm just petting her while I'm talking and when I'm getting ready to leave, the man goes, oh, we can go find that other cat for you. He ran upstairs. I'll just go grab him. And I said, you know what? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this one instead. Um, and the woman said, oh, yeah, she's one of my favorites. We named her. We named her Jazz. And I thought, well, that's a very pretty name. Um, and they asked if I wanted to take both of them. To this day, I'm a little regretful that I didn't take another cat from them. Not that I don't love blues. I love you, baby. But, um, after I took Jazz home, my free kitten got very expensive. Um, she was covered in fleas. She, they claimed she was 11 weeks old. She was maybe two pounds, not even, covered in fleas. She had ear mites and she was full of worms. Um, it cost hundreds of dollars and so much stress to get her healthy again and she she will never be healthy she will never be right in the head she's very stressed and anxious and you know she's hiding under the bed right now because that's where she hides always forever um it's it's really sad um and I lost contact with those people but I still wonder what happened to the rest of those kittens. Because anybody could have came and taken one of them. They didn't even ask me for my name. Um, and I'm sorry that this story is getting a little sad. I'm sure you guys remember Ragamuffin. I shared his adoption story just after or before Christmas. I don't quite remember. But he's our little man. We adopted him on... I'm going to go ahead and say December 21st. He's two years old. He's a big boy. Look at him. And then just recently, in January, we adopted... There she is. Calypso! We adopted a little girl named Calypso. Who doesn't want to come out right now? Oh, there she is. Calypso. I don't know why she's being so shy. She was never super shy before. <laughs> but she is much, much tinier than Ragamuffin. Um, and she came to us um, through Craigslist. 
we found her right after Christmas because after Christmas is when Craigslist gets full of all the unwanted Christmas presents quote unquote presents um, she's about five months old when we got her and she came to us in this cage this size cage um, so it's not very big for pigs um, I just have a towel down on it right now but uh, it is filthy on the bottom I had to scrub it and I still didn't get all the stains off because they never cleaned it she was just on bedding um, and they decided they didn't want her anymore so they gave her to me and now these two live happily together in this nice big pen um, I hope you guys enjoyed this my animals are like I said in all of my videos so um, now you'll know a little bit more about them whenever you see them and you'll understand their personalities a little better um, and I hope to see you next time. Uh, be sure to tell me a bit about your animals, animal companions adoption story down below because I'd really love to hear it. Um, yeah, so have a nice day. Bye!